going to be making creamy smothered ranch pork chops for two people. We're going to melt down one tablespoon of butter. I've got three pork chops here. They're center cut loin chops. The recipe calls for two pork chops, but since I have three, I'm going to go on and cook all three of them. And while you're doing this, have your two cups of egg noodles pre-cooking. Okay, so then got that melted on medium-high heat. Then you're going to... Um, take some sliced onion. You can use any kind of onion you want. If you want to use red onion for this, then by all means do it. But I had these sliced onions in the freezer, so I went and took them out, saw them out. And if you're going to put mushrooms with this, I don't have uh, any fresh mushrooms right now. But if you're going to, cook, put them in with the onions. You're going to cook the onions five to seven minutes in the butter until lightly brown. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Once the onions are browned, you're going to take them out and put them aside. And then bring your skillet back over. And take the pork chops and put them into the skillet. Still on medium high heat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add, it doesn't say to do this, but I might add some oil in this because it's kind of dry now. Here, let me add some olive oil. I'm going to add some olive oil in there just to get some oil in there so that so they won't burn. Okay, here. Add some pepper. I'm going to add some salt. It doesn't say to do that, but just a little bit of salt. And then you're going to brown them on each side. It's good to brown them on each side for about five minutes. I'll be back when they're done browning. You're going to add a cup of, oh no, I don't want it to boil over. Oh boy. I'm going to turn it down to medium. The skillet is very hot. Now put a cup of chicken broth in there. Add a third a cup of chive and onion cream cheese spread. Put that down in there. 
and leave all the flavors that were in there, leave it into the skillet. I'm just going to scrape all of that up. Then you're going to add the onions back in there. Get all of that melted down, the cream cheese. Just want to melt that all. This is going to make the gravy. And then add a pack of ranch dry mix in there. So that's all melting together. So you're going to cook this for three to four minutes until the gravy is thick on medium heat. And make sure you stir it occasionally and from the bottom so you can get up all that flavors that were from the onion and the pork chops in there. Add the pork chops back in there. I'm going to add the juices from back in there too. Get some of that gravy on both sides of the pork chops. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cook that for two or three more minutes until the pork chops are cooked all the way through. So, turn it over like that. It looks really good. That gravy looks nice and thick. And if you don't have a big family, this is a good... Uh, quick meal you can um, you can make and if you do have a big family then you have to just double the recipe I'm going to try this for you and the egg noodles I cooked with it There it is. It's good and done. Mmm. That is so good. That gravy is good too. And there's the uh, cooked onions. Very good. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.